What's she doing here? Martin? Hello. This is, um... I'm so sorry, in all this kerfuffle, I've forgotten your name. No, no, it's Sarah. Sarah? Mm. This is Martin, my husband. Sarah killed over in the street as I was walking by. I've just brought her back to sort her out. Oh, I, ho I hope I'm not disturbing anything. That's all clean now. Martin, take the bowl into the kitchen for me, please. You what? The bowl. Oh, don't worry, I'll do it. Can you hold that there for me? Yeah. Please? What are you doing here? What have you said to her? I haven't said anything to her, and obviously neither of you, which is yeah. a little disappointing. Can you just go, please? Martin, you're talking to me? Uh, no, no, I was just talking to um, Sarah. Oh, right. Well, we will get you patched up in no time at all. It's really kind of you, thank you. <laughs> it's my pleasure. I just think maybe you should go and see a doctor, that's all. No, I'll, I'll be OK in a minute. Anyway, I'm, I'm not registered round here. You're not? No. Martin, why don't you give Dr Leroy a call, eh? What? See if you've got a spare minute. Eh? Hey? What's the matter with you? No, I'll, I'll be fine, really. Well, I don't think it's fine that we don't know the reason you collapsed. Can't be too careful, can you, Martin? No. Don't put the kettle on, will ya? Sonia? What? Do you want any sugar left? Eh? Hey? Sorry. What are you talking Come here. How much longer has she got to be here? Oh, until she feels better. Why can't you get rid of her? Well, I can't, not yet. Well, we've got stuff planned. I meant to be going out. I know, and we can still go out. Just let the girl have a cup of tea first, eh? There's nothing wrong with her. She looks fine to me. And your nursing qualifications are? Mmm, lovely, Sonia. How are you feeling now? Much better. Oh, I miss the only bus that goes anywhere near me. Oh. Right. I'll call you a cab, then. Oh, I can't afford a cab all the way back to Wimbledon, I'm afraid. Right, well, I'll walk you to the tube station. Make sure you're all right. Are you sure you'll be all right in the tube after crashing out the way you did? Yeah, I'll be fine. I don't feel ill. I think I probably just fainted. <laughs> oh. Sarah, sorry to get personal, but you're not pregnant, are you? Oh, that is a bit personal. Still, you're a nurse. I suppose it's all right. <laughs> Look, I, I don't want to be a nuisance, but I need to use the bar. Yeah, of course. Upstairs first on the left. What is your problem tonight? Nothing. Yes, there is. You're being rude and tetchy. No, I just want to go out, you know. Now we're going to be late. Come on. It's more than that. I just don't know why you're so keen to keep this woman here. I'm not, but I'm a nurse and it's my duty. No, you're a student nurse. It's got nothing to do with you. No, I'm sorry. I know you just want to help out, but I just don't see why you've asked her in. You know what? I think that was a bit of a mistake. Oh, maybe it was a mistake for you to go upstairs when you're still a bit shaky. Mm. Anyway, um, about what you were saying earlier about me being pregnant, I'm not. At least I don't think I am. Oh, well, I can't think of any other reason for you fainting. When was the last time you ate? Well, yesterday lunchtime. What? <laughs> so that explains it all. I'll go and make you a sandwich. Go. Just go now, please. Well, like Sonia said, I'm still feeling a bit woozy. No, you're not. What, what the hell do you think you're playing at? No, I'm not playing at anything. I just fainted, that's all. Oh, and you just happened to faint in front of my wife. I didn't know who she was. Oh, yeah, then why weren't you surprised to see me? Eh? Why did you pretend you didn't know who I was? No, I'm not doing any harm. I, I just heard so much about her and I, I wanted to see what she was like. OK, well, now you've seen her. Go. Well, she's sweet and I like her. Well, good, now go. I can't go now, not when she's making me a sandwich. It's the way I am. I get depressed, I don't eat. Can I ask what's worrying you? Oh, come on, son. You can't ask questions like that. Oh, of course she can. Anyway, I'm sure Sonia's probably guessed the truth of the matter by herself. Same problem we all have. Men. <laughs> yeah, well, we all have our bad experiences, don't we? Sarah, so you just got to carry on. Look forward, not back. Mm. I should never got married in the first place, really. I know that now, but... When you're really young, you never think like that, do you? You just marry the first man that comes along. Never works out, really, does it? Have you got a boyfriend, then? Yeah. His name's Martin. Really? <laughs> Did you hear that? It's <coughs> a coincidence, isn't it? <coughs> you all right? Yeah, she's gone down the wrong hole. Oh. You've been together <coughs> long? Well, strictly speaking, <coughs> we're not really together. He's still involved in a previous relationship. Oh, really? Mm. 
Mm. Otherwise, I'd have rung him, got him to pick me up. Couldn't really call him with his wife there, could I? Don't find that above you. Sounds very complicated to me. Mm. He's the same thing as me. He got married too young before he really knew what he wanted. Is he going to get a divorce? Oh, yeah. Eventually. You sure about that? Oh, yes. You know, it's amazing how many oops people jump through before they find the right person. You think so? Oh, yeah. I mean, it's not been easy for me or anyone I know. Hey, Martin. No. So you think it's worth jumping through all the hoops? Definitely. I say, when you find the right person, you know it. And when you know it, you follow your heart and you go for it. Like my nan used to say, what's for you? Can't go past you. My thoughts exactly. No, I don't mean to be rude, Sonia, but... Oh, have, have I been a real problem? No. No, not at all. It's just that Martin had a surprise lines up for me tonight, that's all. Oh, I bet you do that a lot, don't you, Martin? I was going to take her to a musical, if you must know. What? Oh, and I've made you late. Oh, I'm really sorry. Oh, you've been so kind. Look, I'll, I'll get out of your way. But it'll have started now anyway, so... Oh! Oh! Oh, oh I'm not as steady as I thought I was. Hey, listen to me. You calm oh. down. You take it easy, OK? Martin. I didn't realise. Sorry I ruined your surprise. It wasn't you to support it. Listen, why don't you go over the VK and I'll come over? No. Anyway? Why not? I mean, there's no point both of us being here. You go, and when she goes, I'll come over. No, look, you know, it's fine. I'll stay. No, look, I really think that no, you... No, look, I don't like leaving you alone with her. Oh, bless. Why not? She's going to make me over the upper round bag and run off with the housekeeping. No, but... This is what I'd like, you know. What's that? Just a little house for me and Martin, together. Just the two of us. Well, sometimes you have to be patient and wait. Oh, I can do that. I'm good at waiting. <laughs> oh, looks like you've got another customer. Are you all right on your own? Yeah, of course. I'm a big boy now. Yeah. <laughs> Not before time, eh? Oi. What did you want to come here for? And what are you trying to do? I was worried about you. Oh, you what? Of course I was. You walked out on me. You were obviously upset. I, I wanted to know what was wrong. There's nothing wrong with me except you. Now, can you please get out of here? No, I'm, I'm waiting for a taxi. I, I thought you couldn't afford a taxi. Yeah, but I was lying. Yeah, I know you were. Hey, everything you've said tonight has been one great big lie. Calm down, darling. I'm not your darling. Oh, come on. You don't want Sonia to come in and see you shouting at me, do you? I don't want Sonia to come back and find you here at all. Well, then you're just going to have to live with it, aren't you? Yeah. All right, fine. Oh, you wait for your taxi, but I'm telling you, you pull a stunt like this again and I'll... You what? You, what? You, you, you tell your wife the truth? If I have to, yeah. Well, you said you'd do that once before, didn't you? And, and you didn't. You're not above telling a few prime porkies yourself, are you, Martin? I will. I'll tell her everything. Well, actually, I'd, I think she'd rather be hurt like that and get it over with than have you tell her more lies. Well, yes, yeah, she would. And she does have to be told sometime. Would it be better if, if, if we told her together? What? No. I mean, I, I could tell her about us myself, you know, woman to woman. No, look, please, Sarah, don't. I, I'm going to tell her when you go. All right. Oh, Martin, I'm sorry. I'm sorry about tonight. I'm, I don't like upsetting you or playing games with you. I, I only do it when people play games with me. I was hurt. Look, I, I really like you and I, I really want this relationship to work. What are you going on about? There's no relationship. Look, look, I know it's early days, and I mean, I know we've had some problems, but well, I think we can get through this. I really do. Look, let's start again. I mean, all that matters is us. We're in this together, Martin. You know, just, just you and me.